Writing in the Cloud Using Dropbox. Hello, my name's Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Welcome to the program. We're here weekday mornings at 6.45 a.m. Pacific. This week, we're focusing on um, those folks who need to write content, whether you're an author writing your next book, um, writing a chapter from a book, writing an article to be so posted in uh, social media, uh, writing your next ebook, whatever it is you're writing. Maybe you're um, an expert, a presenter writing a speech. Um, you know, maybe you're a realtor writing your next listing. Whatever it is, today I want to focus on using the application called Dropbox to do writing across multiple devices and multiple destinations. Yesterday we focused on using Google Drive, Drive folks would call it, uh, but some people have an aversion to using the Google Suite or using Google. So this week we'll be presenting options. Tomorrow we're going to focus on using iCloud. If you're all um, Mac and iOS centric, uh, how you can very easily and smoothly use the iOS platform and the Mac OS 10 platform, uh, with Google, with iCloud and iCloud Drive um, to, to create content. And then Thursday, um, if you're a Microsoft preferential to your um, software platform, how you can use uh, Microsoft in the cloud to write across multiple devices. Again, what's the reason behind this chat? I'm glad you asked. Um, sometimes we want to sit at our desk and write, but we may want to continue our writing when we're on the bus, on the train, on the plane when we've arrived at our destination and our computer sitting at our desk back home, right? Well, with all these applications we're talking about this week, you can log on to uh, a friend's computer, a colleague's computer in a distant office. You can log on to a computer in the business office or the concierge desk at a hotel or a resort. Um, you can log on a rented computer in an internet cafe, any of those kind of things, and, and create content and add content. And that's what uh, this week is all about. Uh, I forgot to mention Friday we're going to do um, uh, speech to text. So you could dictate or narrate your content and then translate that into text. A couple different ways to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fire up my screen here, my second display, and show you um, some of the options over here. You can see um, the, the first application I want to share with you is something called Focus Writer. Focus Writer. And I'll have the link uh, in the uh, show notes below. But Focus Writer is a software application that enables you to um, uh, write on screen and save it as a raw text file. You can actually save it as what we call plain text which is just the ASCII character, just the A, the B, the C, the 1, 2, 3, just the very plain character. There's no formatting, no bold or italicized, no color, um, no size of the font or shape of the font. It's, it's just the raw character. That's raw text or plain text. Now, um, enhanced text, okay, uh, what we call RTF or rich text format does add some of the text formatting and we'll save that across devices. But to be most universal, a lot of folks recommend that you would go ahead and save it as a plain text file. So this application is free and you can see it is cross-platform, what I also call platform agnostic. So you can download a version uh, on your Mac like I did. You can download a version on your Windows computer, etc. So um, beware or just be advised, I guess. When you go to download it in, in the right side, see the download now button? By default, right above that, it says, oh, you want to donate $5, which is fine. And it's, if you, it's a useful application. I do recommend that. But um, by default, it's set at $5. You can actually change that down to $0 because it is freeware. In other words, it is, it is software that is available for free. The developers would appreciate uh, a tip, as they're calling it, uh, to utilize that. Now, the second application you're going to need, because I'm going to show you how to do this both on your computer and also on your mobile device, and I am using an iPhone as my smartphone, you want to you're going to need to download an application that will enable you to edit and write. Now, you could use something like Pages on iOS, which uh, you may know this week Apple announced Pages is now free for anyone that has an iPhone. You can download uh, any of the iWork suite, the Pages, the Numbers, 
and the uh, Keynote app on your mobile devices, both your iPad and iPhone, for free in the in the App Store. But that's going to change it into formatting for that device, and you'd have to save it as a raw text file. There's a little more work. So if I just want to save it as a raw text file, as a plain text file, every time, I did find an application that is free in the App Store. There are a number of paid ones as well. There we go. And it's actually called Text Editor. And I'll have the link to iTunes in here. If you're on um, uh, a, mic a Windows phone, if you're on an Android phone, there you want to look for a text editor application that saves plain text. Okay, So I've downloaded that and I've installed that. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in a moment here. But first, let's go ahead and close these windows. And there is um, Focus Writer. So that's the plain writing. So if I want to write in here, Let's go ahead and say, okay, this is a test using the Focus Writer software, saving it as a plain text file. Okay. And I've saved that. So what do I want to save it as? Okay, let's save it as a plain, plain text file. Now, what's cool is, check this out. See, I can save it right to Dropbox. In fact, I'll have an upcoming, uh, a longer course available for those that want to get more familiar with Dropbox to using Dropbox. It's a great tool to use across devices, you know, across the miles, etc. But I could save it right to my computer, but I have the ability to save it right to Dropbox. And see down here, I have the choices of what to save it as. And you see plain text is the choice right here, the fourth choice down. So I'm going to save it as a plain text file because that's going to be more universal across multiple devices. So now I could go ahead and go into Dropbox and then I'll see it in Dropbox. But let me show you that Dropbox on my smartphone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my iPhone. I put in my passcode, which we always recommend for security sake. And I go ahead and... There we go. So I've saved that over here. And you can see the plain text application up above. So I go ahead and open that. I tap to open that. Excellent. And then I could start typing, but what I want to do is I want to add that. So I, I click on the left side and it shows me all the places, all the sources where I might access content. And I'm going to actually open up Dropbox and it shows me my Dropbox folder. How cool is that? right see there it is plain text file plain text file dot txt right there see that so i just tap i open that excellent so let's open that then and it's open in the system so i tap here and there it is. See, this is a test using the Focus Writer software, saving it as a plain text file. So I could now tap here and I could edit it. Adding while on the go. Isn't it fun to watch while people type? Okay. So I've added that. Now I can add that and it's going to go back. I can save that back to Dropbox. And when I get to my desktop or laptop back home, it will be available to me um, to continue editing. So really, really easy to use. Now, in terms of, you know, Chet, how does this compare with, with what we did yesterday? Well, for me, I would, I believe, in terms of the workflow, using Drive or Google Drive, um, to me, is like a one-stop shop. It's all there. The writing application is built into Google Drive. As long as you have the Drive app, on your smartphone or your tablet, your iPad, it's built right in. So to me, it's a little smoother, a little easier, but if you'd rather not get involved with Google, you have to open a Google account, etc. This one I don't, I do need a Dropbox account, but maybe you already have that. So um, this is what I love to do. I, I love to help enable you utilize technology um, more successfully, more creatively, more securely, and give you options. I love to give you options. People have different workflows. People have different preferences. And that's what I'm about is helping you become more clear on what those preferences, what those choices are, and then you can make the best informed decision. Tune in tomorrow because tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to jump on platform and show you how you do the same workflow 
inside of iCloud apps if you're a Mac person. But the interesting thing is nowadays you can be on a Windows computer and still use iCloud. Chet Davis, your technology tutor, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't already, please be sure, there it is right there, be sure and like this page so you'll be uh, advised when my next content is out. I would love it if you found this useful, uh, interesting, valuable. Put a note or two down in the comment section. That would be very, very helpful. And uh, let your friends know about this resource, all right? Go out there and make it a great day. Bye-bye.